Hello and welcome to Sports Frenzy with me, Jones Ewa. And today, I want to talk about the Ghana coach, Kwesi Apia. The Africa Cup of Nations is just next month. Whoop, whoop. Now, I'm excited, okay? It's been a while. The last time Ghana played in Africa Cup of Nations, it was terrible, okay? So, I'm excited because, you guessed it, Nyantichi is not at the helm of administrations okay so that's a plus let's see what's going to happen this time around today i'll be talking about the ghana coach kwesi apia as pressure mounts for him to select Sule montari and kevin prince boating so it's been reported that ghana coach kwesi apia will ignore any attempt to convince him to include Sule montari and kevin prince boating in his team for the 2019 africa cup of nations Kwesi Apia is expected to name his provisional squad on May 20th and there's been pressure from the GFA Normalization Committee hierarchy to recall the two players. Chairman of the Ghana Football Association, Dr. Kofi Amwa, revealed that he has asked the Black Star coach to consider calling Kevin Prince Boateng and Sule Montari for the tournament in Egypt. But information from the camp of Kwesiapia indicates that the coach refuses to back down, increasing tension and possibility of a standoff with the governing body. Kwesiapia is taking the stand. He does not want Sule Montari or Kevin Prince Boateng back in the squad. Okay, now, so I think Ghanaians kind of, you know, get caught up with the whole nostalgic time of Sule Montari and Kevin Prince Boateng. Um, I have said in the past that, you know, they've um, played their fair share for the country. They've represented the country at the highest level um, due to certain behaviors at the 2014 World Cup, which I'm not going to get into today. Unfortunately, they were omitted from the squad. Okay, now you, you can argue this from both sides. One might say due, due to the fact that Guzin Yantichi and his men were still at the helm of things. That stopped the players from coming back and now that they've gone why shouldn't you allow them to come back especially if they're performing let's even scrap that let's let's scrap their performing aspect because we've seen the likes of Asamoah who barely played for his his team um still features in the black stars we've seen the likes of Jordan Ayu who was not performing still played for the black star so let's scrap um, if they're playing well for the team, let's scrap that because I don't think that features that much when it comes to the Black Stars simply because the whole team are not doing well. Okay, so let's face it. So, based on past performances and the players' um, capabilities and the potential, I think that is why a lot of people still want to see these two players wearing the Black Stars shirt again. Kusapia has taken a stand, and I think. This is probably the first time we've seen him taking such stands. Is it because he feels like a free man now without the GFA on his back? He can make his own decisions. Also, why is the normalization committee getting involved? Why should you plead to the coach to bring back players? Do your job. Do your job. Your job is not to point the coach to select players. That is not your job. Do I think they should come back? I'm a bit torn, okay? I'm a bit torn because uh, um, I've had the privilege of meeting um, Sule Montari, a nice guy, genuine guy. He was fantastic for the Black Stars, great leader, fantastic footballer. Do the Black Stars still need him? I don't think so, to be honest with you. I don't think the Black Stars need him. Now, you could argue and say, look, if you look at the current crops of players, we're not that good. But it's, the game has changed. And I'm sorry, it's, um, football is not a thing where, you, you, you know, the older you get, the, the, the better you become. No, of course, you're a player, you, you still have certain qualities and your abilities will, will forever stay with you. However, in terms of the pace, the way that the manager wants to play, would you fit into the manager's plans? We need to take all this into consideration. Let's look at the team that won the 2017 Africa Cup of Nations, which was Cameroon. None of their stars turned up, but it was full of young and vibrant players who were hungry. You could argue that the players are footballers, they can cope and adapt to anything. I'll give you that. 
But again, let's look at the point of view from the manager. Would they fit into the manager's um, system? Not because they've done great for Ghana in the past, but would they fit in hit the system he's trying to play? As good as Suleiman Terry is, his legs might not be how they were five, ten years ago. Kevin Prince Boateng, um, I think his case might be different. You could argue for him. For Barcelona to sign you, you're not just any player. So I think uh, Kevin Prince Boateng's one is a bit different to Sully Montari's one. Um, would I want Kevin Prince Boateng to play for Ghana? Absolutely. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say just because he's playing for Barcelona. I still think that from what we've seen from him, he's capable of competing at the highest level. So I think it will add more to the Black Stars, okay? Remember I did say that you don't need to be playing regularly for your team to feature in the Black Stars. However, Kevin Prince Boateng will bring more to the Black Stars. Now, is Chris Yapia also basing his arguments on the fact that he's got his squad, um, they will not fit into the system he wants to play, or is it a personal issue, especially when it comes to Kevin Prince Boatin because it was a personal issue. Um, he swore at Kwesi Apia. To me, I didn't see, I didn't think it was a big deal because if you've been around the football world, in the football circuit, swearing is just the usual vocabulary that every player uses. I don't care who you are. I think this is where that whole respect thing gets involved. You know, I'm the coach, I'm older than you. I'm supposed to instruct you and give you orders and carry out my um, directives. Um, instructions but you choose not to do it but rather swear at me so if that's the case I'm going to cut you off I think Chris Apia will be making a big mistake if that's what he's going to base his reasons on if it's more than just football it's more personal then I think he, he, he's making a mistake let me know what you think leave your comments down below um, don't forget to share and also subscribe if it's your first time tuning in to this channel okay share spread the word okay we're getting ready for the 2019 africa cup of nations i'll be doing more videos i know i've been away for quite some time but i'm back all right my name is jones thank you for watching and once again don't forget to subscribe and share peace